Good afternoon. <clears throat> it's been quite a while since we've done one of these in a uh, meeting. Uh, <clears throat> today's word of the day comes to us, compliments of our friend Eric. He sent me an email the other day uh, saying that I might be interested in the fact that we had just apparently celebrated National Curmudgeon Day. <laughs> and you talk about someone who's desperate for a holiday. Apparently they were and they came up with that. And the reason he thought I might be interested in it is my license plate on my truck says curmudgeon, which means a grumpy old man. <laughs> and in fact, more of that article dealt with the derivation of the term uh, curmudgeon. And man, everybody is claiming it. It's a Scandinavian dialect term. It's a Gaelic term. It's an old medieval French term. It's a... Uh, uh, what was the other one? Uh, an Australian something or other. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of people who apparently have a lot of time on their hands to research that kind of thing. But that got me wondering about what, if there's a main equivalent to that. And there is. It is old blister. And <clears throat> the, the curmudgeon refers pretty specifically to a man, an older man. Uh, an old blister can uh, be an old man, an old woman. It can be a lawnmower that won't start, a uh, milk cow that kicks you when you try to milk her, uh, anything that gives you trouble and uh, is generally a bother. Uh, and <clears throat> specifically, an old blister is someone, it's kind of a affectionate term in a way, but it's one of these people that is just never happy. They will find the black cloud in front of every silver lining that comes along. So the story might go, I hate to go anywhere with Uncle Chester. He's never happy. We go to a restaurant, we go to the hardware store, we go to the garage, and nothing uh, is ever quite right. There's no suit in that old blister. 